checking in. It's Monday. Thank goodness it's sunny. It's finally sunny. It rained all day yesterday. It was a muddy mess. I wanted to let you know Cody did so good. I checked on him every hour. It was a shorter work day yesterday, so that was good. He has done this before. Uh, perfect weather. I, I would worry more about him being too hot than cold. So the weather was perfect yesterday, like 50. I checked on him. I think he was just happy to be with me. Now today, after work last night, I know life is so, oh, life is so unpredictable right now. And like I said, I'm kind of more of a planner. So this is different for me, but I'm kind of trying to just go with the flow. <laughs> anyway, after work, I drove home to my mom's and from Sevierville where I work, it is like an hour and a half drive now with traffic. So I had to drive that home in the dark. It was horrible. Oh my gosh. The road going to my mom's is so windy. No. Anyway, my plan. I am on my way right now to Sevierville. I do not work today. However, I am going to pick up a few extra days of work because I missed a day last week because this whole fiasco of, you know, having to leave and it is what it is. So I really need to make up a few days and my manager really wants me to work. So I have decided, my mom and I decided this would probably be the best plan. Instead of driving an hour and a half to work, hour and a half to her house. So I'm gonna work and I'm on my way to Sevierville. I'm getting a hotel that is a mile. Very close, very close to work. And I'm using, I want you guys to know, you sweet people that sent me money in my Venmo and my Cash App, I just want you to know that that is being put to use for a hotel, like you said. Um, I'm not, I'm not frivolously, you know, just going out spending that I am using it on the actual hotel. So I'm going to be staying there while I work a few days. And I figured that is the best way because I'm going to save a lot in gas. So I want you guys to know I'm using, definitely using that money that you send. Thank you so much because of you I can do this. So anyways, I, I'm also meeting a friend from Indiana who is up here with her husband and they really wanted to meet me and they are up in this area. So besides me, you know, driving back and forth like four times, six times this week, I'm just going to stay in a hotel. The only bad thing is Cody cannot come. He is with my mom in her tiny house. Uh, he cannot, I cannot take him to work with me every single day. I know, oh my gosh. Oh, hold on. Anyways, I figure that's the best solution. My mom is supposed to move into her apartment, thankfully, uh, in a few days. So my plan is when I get off of work in a few days, I'm going to drive all the way home and get Cody because, you know, he's going to be at her apartment a few days. And then <laughs> after that, she's supposed to move in Thursday. I'll be working. She's going to watch Cody and I am going to go stay at her house then. That's the plan. And I'm thankful for that. I at least have not even a month that I can stay there before my sister has to move in. That was the plan. She really needs some help in her situation. So we're all just trying to do the best we can. So that gives me, you know, three, three, four weeks tops. Uh, I at least will have my mom's place and 
try to figure something out. Because after that, I really am 100% truly homeless. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure. We will see how this goes. <laughs> but anyway, to the lady who commented, I did see where she had said, well, you had 30 days. I would like to see you try to get moved out of a tiny house place in 30 days and you tell me how that works out. <laughs> that is not enough time. That's not enough time. My mom barely got a mover to move the house, let alone moving into a place. So if you can, if you can find out how to do that faster, I kudos to you. <laughs> anyway, I am on my way. This is going to be where I'm at the next few days. It's going to be super easy, well, easier to get to and from work, picking up a couple extra shifts. So it's much easier than driving an hour and a half to mom's. So one thing is, I'm like, I am not going to be next to screaming kids. I won't. I'll have to go change rooms or something. I'm not. Here's my room. There is a balcony. I have, I don't have a Keurig, but there's this. I have a microwave, little fridge. Oh, well, I got, um, like a little welcome bag when I got here. I had water and Oreos and goldfish. Didn't show that though. 
Yeah, the only thing I hate about hotels is that you never know who's going to be noisy, and I'm not. I'm not going to put up with that. Done it one too many times. It's a good location, though. <sighs> Convenient for work. Let's see, I have a little balcony. Not a view or anything, but still. Wow, it's bright. This hotel is recently renovated. That's nice. Okay, so that's it for this video. I am in here, the room is clean. I uh, got everything put away, so I'm gonna go out and um, get something to eat and come back here and get ready to go to work tomorrow. So that's it for this video. Bye guys, I'll be back soon.